How's it going? I made it to Mike from Mike's Homestead. Um, I'm inside the greenhouse. It's roughly about five degrees, four degrees out. Beautiful temperature, but technically it's 20 degrees inside the greenhouse, so not the worst. Um, the reason I'm here today is I'm going to add on to this here wood burner. What I've got here is this used to be a drum that I used for a that I started building for a wood gas fire. I think what I'm going to do is make a heat exchanger out of it like that and somehow intertwine it and then move the sto stove over a little bit and it'll kind of angle out a little bit and we'll see if we can get that heat more in the middle here. So uh, bear with me and we'll see what happens. Well, like I was saying before, this was originally I was building this for a uh, filtration system for a gasification unit. As you can see, there's an inlet there and another one there. And I actually built a partition in the center which slides out. So what I want to do is I'm going to cut that partition down a little bit. I want to patch up both the holes on both sides. I'm going to put an 8 inch inlet right here. I'm going to let that fire concentrate on the divider in the center, but like I said it will be shorter so the smoke will be diverted around the back and the front side. And then, I haven't quite figured out where the... I might just divert it through the front and then make the smoke come in here, hit the plate, and then come this way and then back over and then actually have it come a six inch out the end over here and that will make my stove move out maybe another foot or two out in the middle here so it'll be eight inch in and then like i said a six inch out so well let's see what i can do i guess first of all i need to get this out of here Yeah, as I'm sitting here working with it, I think I am going to go with both an 8 inch and an inlet and an 8 inch outlet. You know, I started thinking about usually stoves flow, you know, on their, you know, dimensions that they are. That's why they built them the way they did. So I will leave it an 8 inch because of the fact that I'm already going to disrupt the flow having a baffle in here. So what I'm going to do is I've separated the bottom pipe from the stove and then I'm going to make, make a marking here cut this out here and then I'm probably going to peel these over and mount that in there so that's what I'm going to do next. I'm just using some tin snips to snip around it. Probably about due for a new set of tin snips. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this piece to patch that hole once I get it out. Well everybody there it is. It's standing up on its end. There's the flue end that goes actually in the wood burner. Um, and then we have the exit port right there. So this is technically the back side of the exchanger. Smoke's going to come in here. It's going to go down the chamber, over, and then back up, and then out that hole. Okay. So now you get a little view inside. There's our baffle. The first baffle is actually part of the pipe. So the smoke's going to come up and it's going to hit the baffle in the direction the smoke needs to go out. And if you look, there's another lip on the baffle plate up there. So hit there, hit that plate, and then it'll come around this side, come up, and then out our hole. So um, I'm hoping that'll reburn off some of the gases. If anything, this thing ought to collect a lot more heat because that, that stove takes an hour or two just to warm up the cast iron. This should get the direct fire, direct heat straight out of the stove. So you got to feel immediate heat right away off of that, I'm hoping. So now all I got to do is I want to burn this paint off. I think I might take it outside, throw a little gas or something, in, and have a fire in there and burn that stuff off so it don't smoke up my greenhouse. Still burning in there. It's <laughs> not quite what I wanted.
now that I'm all filled up on marshmallows and I whittled me a bat, I think we got her done. I don't know if you can see that or not, but that's the whole unit without the baffle in it. So, I'm going to put this thing onto the stove and we're going to see if we can smoke ourselves out and see if we get some heat in here. guys got her all together um we're gonna light this baby up see how she works and uh, i'll do some other videos about that and see if it's worth shit or not um but if you guys at all like this video please leave a comment ask any questions or please like it take it easy guys and i'll see you later